Acabou em um. Ayan, oh, madami ng sira. Sa ang ano na may dina. Nandito na ang sa kalapit mismo. Ayan, dito na namamasig sa kalapit. Ayan. Daming sira na dito. Oh, hanggang dito na ang alon. Hanggang dito na ang alon. Nawala na yung kuwan. Ayan, ayan. Nawala na yung bagong pantalan. Yung bagong pantalan, nawala na. Ayan, bumara na dito yung ilaw. Ayan po. Sa ngayon po ay hulaw at gawa ng sasalata na. Kaya humulaw. Ayan. Ayan, nandito na po ang alon. Ito na mismo, sa may... Dito na, sa may kalye. Nandito na. Ayan, lalakas na po ulit. Ah, babalik na ako. The Philippines are gone. Super Typhoon Cardin destroys part of the islands. Natural Phenomenon September 25, 2022. Super Typhoon Cardin, Nori, the 11th tropical cyclone in the Philippines in 2022 will hit central Luzon with heavy rains and strong winds. Northern Luzon and southern Luzon, including Metro Manila, are also preparing for the passage of a super typhoon on Sunday, September 25th. The State Weather Bureau said Carding made landfall near the town of Bingalun in Aurora at 8.20 p.m. Sunday. Shortly before the last landfall announcement, Pagasa reported that Carding had a maximum sustained wind speed near the center of 185 km per hour, a decrease from its 195 km per hour wind before it first touched down. The typhoon may weaken slightly as it hits the Sierra Madre and Zambales mountain ranges. <laughs> the typhoon is expected to leave the Philippines early Monday morning and possibly leave the Philippine area of responsibility on Tuesday. <laughs> Super Typhoon Pagasa position forecast shows Harding will hit Masinloka, Zambales at 5 a.m. on Monday, September 26. A super typhoon carding was making landfall in the Palillo Islands at 5 p.m. local, 5 a.m. Eastern Time, according to an update from the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration (PAGASA). The storm has sustained winds of 240 km per hour (149 miles per hour), with gusts up to 295 km per hour (183 miles per hour), according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Authorities previously issued an extreme emergency alert as the storm reached super typhoon status early on Sunday morning local time, after suddenly intensifying. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center said it had strengthened from a 140 km per hour, 85 miles per hour typhoon to a 250 km per hour, 155 miles per hour super typhoon in just six hours. Pagasa also issued level 2 and 3 warnings for much of Luzon, including Metro Manila.